The flash floods that hit the state have now receded, but they've left behind a messy legacy. Homeowners are now dealing with water damage as well as mold. Tonight, consumer investigator Steve Sprasha gets answers about how best to deal with that moldy mess. Once you've been hit by floodwaters, cleanup becomes crucial, and anything that's wet can be a breeding ground for mold. How quickly can mold begin to form? Uh, they say mold can begin growing within 48 hours if, if the conditions are right. Before mold becomes obvious outside of the walls, it will breed behind them. You won't see it, but you might start uh, noticing a very musty odor in your house. Even if you've only got three or four inches of water in your house, drywall acts like a wick, sucking up the water several feet above the floor line, even wetting the insulation behind the wall. In many cases, you know, some of the drywall is going to have to come out and be, be repaired. Wall-to-wall -wall carpet needs to go, too. The carpet is wet, but also the pad underneath it is just like a sponge. If the mold is in just a very small area, you may want to tackle it yourself, but you need to take precautions. When you're working with it, you're going to be stirring it up to a certain degree. So wear an N95 rated mask or respirator, but remember they're almost impossible to find these days. Wear long pants, shirt, gloves, boots, and goggles. Dispose of all porous items which have been in the water for 48 hours or more. And use a commercial mold control solution. Some folks think, oh, I just throw a little bleach on it and I can get rid of the mold right away. But bleach really doesn't cure it, does it? Uh, no, and uh, bleach doesn't. Uh, it actually feeds mold. It will take out the stain of mold, but bleach is about 80% water. So it doesn't kill the mold spore and the water feeds the spore. You should also never paint over mold mold because that doesn't kill it, it just hides it temporarily. Large mold problems like this require a professional to come in, seal off the area, and do a complete remediation. You want to know more? Well, the EPA has a complete mold guide, which I've linked to in my web story. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprasia.